Thank you for taking the time to review this slideshow and learn how to enter time and schedule time off with UltiPro. I'm Ginger Decato with the HR Employee Development and Training Team. This short presentation will walk you through the time management process and introduce you to a few other features you can access today. Here are just a few of the benefits of time management in UltiPro. Self-service 24-7 anywhere there's an internet connection, even on your phone. Clocking in and out as well as scheduling time off is quick and easy. And you can view notifications and alerts, even track and submit timesheets. It's all effortless with UltiPro. Before we look at how easy it is to enter time, let's first review some of the features UltiPro has to offer. The first step, log into UltiPro through the OCCC portal. Just enter your credentials here. There are two ways you can access UltiPro from the portal. I usually choose My Bookmarks and select UltiPro at the bottom of the menu. You can also access UltiPro from the Menu tab. Just choose Applications and find UltiPro at the bottom of this page. If this is your first time accessing the new system, you'll have to complete the next steps. But keep in mind this step is for the purpose of creating an UltiPro Direct Login only. You will only have to enter this information one time. After that, all it takes is your single sign-on credentials to access UltiPro. If you have difficulty logging in with your full name email address, you may need to enter your alias email, the shorter version of your email. If you still can't log in, contact Tanya Brooks for assistance. Next, you'll get this message, notifying you your activation is almost complete and directing you to your email. Open the email from UltiPro and just click here to complete your account activation. You're on the final step in the activation process. Just follow these instructions and you're well on your way. Your current password is your date of birth and eight numbers. Enter two numbers for the month, two numbers for the date, and four numbers for the year. That's it. Now create a new password and enter it into this field. Finally, re-enter the same password here. Note, you will not be changing your original sign-on to the OCCC portal. Your existing username and password will remain the same. This step is for the purpose of creating an UltiPro Direct login only. And again, if you have any problems logging in, contact Tarnia Brooks at the email or extension on this slide. When you finish the activation step, you'll automatically be directed to your personal UltiPro homepage. From here, click the menu button at the top to access your information and a few other features. Under the Myself tab, you'll see several categories. Under the Personal category, go ahead and click Name, Address, and Telephone. You will automatically be linked to your individual employee information. When you get some time, we hope that you'll log in and take a look around. Familiarize yourself with the features. Review your personal information for accuracy and change it if it's not correct. Do the same thing for emergency contacts. When you access your individual information under name, address, and telephone, in the right-hand corner you'll find this box, Things I Can Do. This box will list all of the categories you will have access to. If it's not listed here, you won't be able to access it. UltiPro makes it easy to navigate, too. The same information listed across the top of this page is the same information found under the Personal category on the Myself tab. The same information can be found right here.
The My Self tab will give you access to other categories too. Here under My Company, you will find the new employee directory as well as quick access to new career opportunities. Under the Myself tab, you'll also find Time and Time Off. These are the links we will be using today to learn how to enter time and schedule time off. Let's get started and learn how to enter time. Just as a refresher, from the main menu, employees will access time and time off from the Myself tab. Under Myself, find Workforce Management and click Time. There are two types of timesheets available to non-exempt employees. The Duration Timesheet is for full-time employees and the Hourly Timesheet is for employees who are part-time or student workers. In order to access the employee timesheet, a green employee dashboard will appear on the left side of the screen. Here, choose My Timesheet. The timesheets are similar to each other. There are only minor differences. Let's look at the duration timesheet first. The duration timesheet will load automatically if the worker is a full-time non-exempt employee. Just follow the instructions in the yellow box. Check the date at the top to ensure the correct time period. Enter time every day. Time can be entered on the quarter hour, half hour, or three quarter hour. Click the plus sign if additional time codes are used for one day. For example, if the employee works half a day, enter four hours. Then enter four hours if the remaining time is due to jury duty or J-U-R-Y. Full-time non-exempt employees can enter holiday time or H-O-L to record time off for a holiday. Note, hourly employees will not be able to enter personal or P-E-R time, vacation, V-A-C time, or sick time, S-I-C. A time off request must be completed and submitted to the supervisor and approved before these hours appear on the timesheet. This will be covered in the time off section of the slideshow. Finally, click save after each daily entry, but click submit only after timesheets have been completed for the designated time period. This is a sample view of an employee timesheet after time off has been submitted by the employee and approved by the supervisor. Now let's schedule time off. Time off is also accessed from the main menu. On the Myself tab, under Benefits, click Time Off. This action will bring you to the Create Requests page. Here you can check the balance of personal, sick, and vacation time just by clicking the arrow under Time Off Type. Your balance for each will show just below Current Balance. Currently, your time off balances may not be accurate. Official balances will not be loaded into the system until our official launch date. So, any previously requested dates off will be listed under the planned request section of this page. When you're ready to request time off, click Create Request. On this page, you will enter the type of leave you are requesting, VAC for vacation, P 
P-E-R for personal time, and S-I-C-K for sick time. Enter the start and end dates. You can even request a partial day from the drop-down menu. Just choose the number of hours you want to request off and click Submit when you're finished. After you submit your time off requests, the date will be placed in the planned request box and show pending until it is approved by your supervisor. So that's it. In this slideshow, we covered how to enter time and request time off. If you have questions about entering time, contact Lori Johnson, the payroll coordinator, or Suzanne Garvey, payroll specialist. If you need to schedule training for your department, Contact me, Ginger Decato. Thank you for listening.